What is going on, lunatics? Guys, we got to talk about the the burn process. We got to talk about some stuff that was found out and figure out like where is all the Luna Classic? Who's holding on to all the Luna Classic? Because according to Happy Caddy Crypto, uh, he said Crikey or whatever he says, and it looks like this. Let's let's go through it. So he says, and this there's multiple numbers here. So you know, we'll, we'll go through this here. Uh, but he says that there are, there are 992 million USTC, 978 million lunk in uh, in all of this. It doesn't seem like a, a whole lot. This is the the bankruptcy filing. However, when you come over here, that number becomes 19 billion 143 million. Uh, Luna Classic, not a lot. Remember, there's two trillion kind of sitting in a random wallet somewhere. Uh, USTC, 2.257 billion. USTC still applies there. Nothing has changed fundamentally about the amounts that I was telling you yesterday about USTC. But Happy Caddy Crypto did an exhaustive report here with uh, 19 billion lunk in all of these wallets. And by the way, this was Terraform Trial Exhibit P301. Uh, so, and this is all of the, you know, this is, this is everything that was in there. Could, uh, could Happy be missing something? It, it's possible that he's missing something, but in order for him to have missed it, it has to not be in this uh, exhibit. So I think this exhibit is right. And we're talking about 19 billion tokens here and 2.25 billion tokens here. Now, the question at this point would be, what about the Luna Foundation Guard? And they've moved their crypto around, but their crypto wasn't incredibly substantial. So could I be wrong that that 2 trillion is out there? Maybe. Um, what's going to happen with 434 billion tokens that were transferred from BTC Turk at this point? I don't know. Um, the hot wallet for Binance didn't explode with a lot more tokens or anything like that. So they're still sitting over there as they go through whatever the process is for BTC Turk. So we're going to have to temper our expectations for the moment on the potential burns. We're going to have to look at this in a different light. So um, for that, I don't have an answer at this point. Just that I'm following Happy Caddy Crypto's research just like everybody else to try to figure out you know what is going to for sure burn. So at this point, again, Luna, USTC, USTC is going to be in great position pretty soon. Uh, will it get back to the $1 peg? Not with that kind of burn. In order to, to get back to that, we'd probably have to burn like 5 billion tokens to even get a shot at it. And then I think it would only go up to about 10 cents. So, uh, but this is still significant. This is still significant. And, you know, in fairness, if you're looking at the charts right now, then what do you, what do you want to do? Well, I mean, based on this, you want to load up on USTC because it would look like and seem like that once that burn is done and it's ripped off chain, then there's a significant pump for USTC. So, but we'll look at that in just a few minutes here. Uh, you can just see it on the chart right now, kind of in this range right here from that previous dump. So uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and look at Lunk here. You can see consolidation and range. Uh, remember what I told you guys yesterday, we were talking about the 200 MA as it, uh, and it was pumping up above it when we were talking about it. And I was like, you know, it has to confirm with a, a move over uh, the 200 MA, but it got rejected by the 200 MA, brought back down to, I think that's the 50. So it came back down to the 50 a couple times and then boom, broke out. And now it's above the 200 and you can see there's a crossover happening right now so if you're looking for a breakout it, it looks like luna uh lunk could be having a breakout getting ready to happen now will it go very high i don't know that i i, I don't know we're we, you know there's still a lot of moving parts here to try to figure out while we wait to find out what's going on with btc turk so far delisted and we haven't heard anything else uh, that, that excites us in that regard. So that's where, you know, that's where this is. So um, remember, Happy Caddy did a lot of work here to try to figure this out. Now, uh, the, the good things, let's start with that. Uh, Terra Luna Classic hits 1 trillion staked and Binance is going to have a major burn. Now, the question is, um, you know, we got that that 6.7 trillion that were, that were burned. We have a total of 7 trillion, 7 billion, sorry, that have been burned over the last seven days. What would it look like to have that big transfer go through? Does that affect the Binance? I don't think it does, but... 
we 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 don't know yet what we're going to get for that number. We do know the trading volume is down, so I would be looking at 1.3 billion again, maybe 1.4 billion. Um, you know that that might be the the best we can hope for in that regard. Now, uh, going back into it, uh, it should be pointed out that there were about 274 billion Luna Classic in a. Uh, Terraform Labs wallet that we were looking at from data a couple of days ago. I'm going to have to go back and find it uh, to look at it, but that was supposed to be part of Terraform Labs. So I don't know how happy Caddy, by the way, is so far off on the totals here because the evidence that he showed clearly showed 19 billion where we saw the wallet with um, Chris Amani and it was 274 bit. So still some questions. Uh, Chris Amani, by the way, even suggested that they should be blacklisted, those wallets, uh, it, it, by the Luna Classic community. So, and we should be following that, but there are no proposals up to do that. So we'll see how that breaks out. Let's keep moving on here. Um, nothing else other than the discussion right now about the Luna Classic module. Um, then we've got the long price, you saw that. Uh, we need to confirm one, two, three, four. We got four candles over the 200. We, we need about four more candles to get a confirmation of uh, a, a bullish sentiment here. We haven't seen a divergence in any way that would give us a reason to think that, you know, the, the sellers are getting worn out yet. So uh, we're going to have to kind of watch this. Now, what I do like is when you kind of zoom out and you, you take a, a, a look at it, the price action seems to be moving on the uptrend. That's a good sign uh, because it was coming into the downtrend over here. And of course, what happened there, uh, we ended up, you know, continuing down a little bit further. So, you know, we'll look for uh, a, an increase in price going up this way. Good sign. But again, we need a little bit more uh, volume. Volume is down to 20 million. USTC volume down to 7 million. So, you know, significant downside right now. But, you know, again, USTC, 100 million market, 100 million market cap. If we were just consider that for a little while and the number of burns that are, that are going to happen there, um, you know, we take, you know, 100 million uh, circulating supply, 5.664. And, you know, we reduce that. And, we, and if we were to reduce that, uh, then, you know, we have to do, you know, it's, it's, it's simple math. It should be, uh, should work out. Let's try this. I'm going to pull this out right here. We're going to take this. We're going to pop this up here. And then we're going to take this over here. And we're going to do the, we'll just do the math. We'll do 102,984,035. And we'll divide that by the number of circulating supply, 564 to and that should give us our 1818 cents, right? So if we have 2.2 billion coming out of this, then we should go back up here and take 2.2 billion out, and that's gonna be 3.4. So 3.4 is gonna make the price 2.9. So, I mean, you might wanna get in on this because that is a gigantic move right now. And that's, that's without FOMO being built up. That's without uh, people, you know, getting like, ooh, here we go. That's just a, a, a nice increase overall. And it almost doubles the price. Not exactly, but, but gets close to it. It's about a 40% increase, 35% increase. So it would stand to reason here that once we're you know burned off of the chain, that's the important part, by the way. So once that, once that happens, burned off of the chain, and we've reduced the total supply by that factor and circulating the supply thusly then, we should be able to get a, a you know a very nice increase again without a FOMO uh, build. So this could go five, 10 cents at that point because people would start to see, hey, there's a real revival on hand. But again, I'm speculating entirely. I don't have any evidence to back up any of that at this moment. You can see right here, there's 3.3 billion tokens not in circulation. It could be that all nodes has already just done an update here with the, the because they're now in charge of that. So we'll see. Uh, but I'll be following it and waiting and seeing what's happening. There's no anything up for a discussion, but I do want to talk to you about a couple different things. First of all, Rackoff token. Uh, Rackoff token. Rackoff token is not Terra Casino. Now, if you're looking for some risk based gaming, you should be going to Terra Casino to check it out. They're one of the sponsors of the channel, and you can trade your Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, or Doge in order to do some of this gaming. And you can win more crypto. The important part of this, right, is to win more crypto so that you have more than when you started. Uh, there's sports wagering, there's PVP poker, uh, a lot of different. Um, um, 
slot games. Uh, there's a live casino out here if you want to play. And then not only that, but you can do some, uh, there's game shows. Uh, you could do a bonus war, crypto trading. Again, you're just picking whether Bitcoin's going to go up or down. Kind of simple thing. So make sure you check them out. But back to Rackoff Token. Uh, Rackoff Token, uh, there's a lot going on in the background. Again, we're going to arrange uh, an AMA with these guys over the next couple days to try to really get some details, if we can, on what they're building. And I think what they're building is a pretty interesting ecosystem here. And if you haven't, you should go check it out. It's at Rackoff Token. Now, also, with that, here's the information, by the way, for the, the, the um, uh, TFL doesn't include LFG, anything like that. So we'll see how this plays out. Now the LFG reserves over here, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're included, but you know you can break this down uh, with their reserves. It tells you that they have uh, 227 million, and then USTC they have 1.86 billion. So you know, go back over here and is that included? And if it is included in the total, then we're looking at 2.27. That that's part of it. But if it's not for any reason, then that's an additional. Um, I want to say that 4 billion, 4 billion tokens could be removed from circulation. That's a, a, a an incredible number. And right now, I think those are in circulation. Also, those wallets have been blacklisted. And they haven't been blacklisted. So we have no reason to think that that is the case at this point. And uh, they recently moved around. So uh, I, I, I'm still kind of excited about what I see here. Although, again, I don't have any verification about what I can back up. Now, uh, I get there's three days left for the long burns. Uh, that's pretty exciting. Again, 7 billion. Um, Terra Casino, if you haven't, uh, if you if you need to trade your meme coins, look at this Lunk uh, with uh, Tooting Common is up 20% on the day. Rackoff is up 1%. USTC Terra uh, pairing is up 4%. Lunk with Frog is up 58% on the day. There's some really good opportunities over here if you're just trading some meme coins in the Terraport space. So if you haven't already, Terraport.finance, the big sponsor of the channel, go check them out and and do some do some trading, uh, create some trade volume. If you do that, then guess what? We continue to provide you with this type of content. Now, uh, as far as what I was going to cover today, it's the FRG ecosystem. Uh, that's the frag game. Remember, that's Lunk Zombies. Uh, and you can go check that out. But here is the website uh, to go check out, and you can buy the NFTs. When you take that, that's going to take you over to Miata, which we'll talk about it. Folks, if crypto goes up, you need more crypto. If crypto goes sideways, you need more crypto. If crypto goes down, you need even more crypto. What better place to do it than cryptonomy.finance? Remember, cryptonomy is a hedge against whatever might befall this economy and this market. So let's check it out. Since the last time we talked, 2.3x return, 2.95x return, 2.37x return, 1.4x return, 1.59x return. Now in the meantime, I'm going to take my XRP. I've got 12,800 XRP. I'm going to max that out. I'm going to stake this for uh, nine months here. 71.8% yield return. That's going to give me an estimated amount, 9,208 more XRP. Don't you want more XRP? Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back over here to the launch pool. I'm going to throw in about half a Bitcoin. Again, I'm going to be in the bronze level. I'll put 0.43 in. That's a good risk for me and a good return for me. Folks, it doesn't get any simpler than this. If you are looking for more crypto, stake it. That's what everybody tells you, right? So do that and you should be fine. But I'm not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, go to the research section of cryptonomy.finance and they'll tell you what you need to know. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. A later point, and we've talked about it a couple times, but uh, you can go over there and check it out. And then there is a little gameplay trailer over here that you can check out. And it'll give you kind of an idea of what this game looks like. Very simple side-scrolling fighter game. Um, uh, the, the stronger your NFT, the stronger your weapon, the stronger your defenses. So you might want to check that out. Make sure you have a couple of NFTs. Go to Miata.io for that. And then along with that, let's get into the nitty-gritty of it, the Frag ecosystem here. This is our new uh, Luna Classic Validator node Frag Coin ecosystem. We'll be airdropping tokens from our projects each week. And their projects, Cookie, LNC, Food, DETH, FRG, THC, EDU, THC. 
E-D-U, G-R-D-X, that's Garuda Notes, and then Tom and Jerry, uh, hashtag Tom Jerry. That's why we were called the Future Rewards Together. Together we grow, we learn, we meme, uh, and you earn. So if you are interested, start staking with this validator. This validator currently has 372 million Lunk stakes. So if you have some extra on the side, um, then uh, their name is FRG Ecosystem. Go stake with those guys. So far, I think they've, uh, you can go to, by the way, Check how they voted. Make sure that you, you like how they vote before you make that move. But if you do like the way that they uh, have voted, then you are able to uh, go do something with it, right? So you have uh, 12114 that they were part of. They did not vote. Then you have the tax to gas implementation that they voted yes. Uh, they also voted to increase validators uh, to 130, uh, even though that proposal was rejected. I think that moving it to 130, despite all nodes being against it, is probably the right move to bring in new validators is probably not horrible for the ecosystem. I think that's actually very, very good for the ecosystem. Uh, going back to three months, you can see it's just still a brand new sort of thing. So you, you only got three real votes here for the last little while. Uh, but that's it. Go check these things out. And if you like what you see, uh, validate with FRG. Uh, if you like Lunk Zombies, go check out the game. Do whatever it is that you can you can do over there. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday.